Hello and welcome to watching this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can create logo animation. For example, like this. Watch again. I want to create logo animation like this. Okay. For do that, first create new composition and then create new solid then click OK after that go ahead effect menu and video copilot click element OK now you should create your text or for example um, in this project I want import my logo for do that right click here and in import click file OK now Select your logo, for example, my logo is this, and then drag and drop and add to your composition. Okay, now click your layer logo and then go to layer menu and then click auto trace. After that, here click OK. As you can see, we have a mask. Okay, now in element effect. Go to custom layer and open custom text and mask and in path layer one click auto trace vfx.png for example here. And then go to sense setup and click extrude. As you can see this logo it's convert to 3D okay now click okay and now we don't need these two layer and turn off showing that now create new camera then click okay and create new light okay now change position of that okay now go to element effect and click send setup after that after that click your model object and in bevel copies change it to for example 3 it's good and change offset mode to relative as you can see we have 3 bevel copies now open of this group extraction model now click bevel 1 and increase bevel size as you can see bevel size of that is up and click bevel 2 and here bevel size change it for example here as you can see we have three steps of this object now click your uh, first bevel one and then in diffuse click none sets after that click load texture and here you should select your picture that you want use that for texture for example I want this texture for this bevel and then click OK and OK. Now click bevel 2 and click non set after that load texture and here for example click this texture and then click OK. Now click bevel 3 and in diffuse non set load texture and for example this texture for front bevel okay now click bevel 3 and and in reflectivity increase intensity now in environment click here and you can select your environment for example I want this environment and then click OK. 
and again click OK. Now as you can see, my model almost ready. Okay, now go to render setting and in ambient occlusion turn on ambient occlusion and change SSAO intensity to for example 15 is good and open glue group and then enable that and change illumination to laminance and reduce glue reduce and it's good okay now change background color white to for example black and then create new solid and then click ok and in effect trap code and then click form and now change base form to a string and change a string in Z to 1 and change size to X here and to Y after that in disperse and twist change this twist for example here and then in fractal field change this place and in disperse and twist change disperse to and drag this form to under your element layer and then click your light and change position of that um, I think here is good okay now in glue increase glue saturation for example here is good and after that you can create shape layer for example one of these here and other here and then select your shape layer and change color of that to orange and then in opacity change opacity for example here is good and then select your shape layer and in blur and sharpen click fast blur and then increase this blurness and then in mode change it to add okay for color in this form um, go to form effect and in quick map color map change it to this gradient from white to black and change map and change map to X now if you change background composition to white now in particle group change particle type to glue sphere as you can see it's better and we can create another shape for example for here
and in fill color change it to black and then in opacity reduce that and in mode add this layer and if change it is better okay now click effect and in blue and sharpen click fast blue okay and increase that now create new solid for optical fillers and in effect click video copilot and optical filler and in render mode change it to on transform now in option click and for example select one of your presets or create a new optical for example I think in it's good and then click OK after that in this layer change this mode to add okay now uh, for this color it's not good for here and change it to here okay it's better now you can go to optical filler and change brightness I'll change it from for example here um, and you can change camera as you can see it's very good and here in transform insert keyframe po for point of interest and position and change indicator and change your camera for example to here now if you play that when you play that as you can see Log animation is good. Now, if you select this two shape layer and drag and drop under all of your layer, it's better for, for example, here. Um, now you can select all layer and in layer click pre-compose and then click OK after that go to effect and in utility click HDR compander and in mode click expand range and increase gain and gamma it's look better Okay, thank you for watching this video and goodbye.